So I am a speed reader. I always have been because I figured the faster I read books, the more books that I could read. And then when I was in college, it was a whole other thing because professors would be like, great news, I want you to read this book by tomorrow morning. And you'd be like, what? And they'd be like, do it. And then because I'm a good noodle, I would always read my books. Until I got to senior year of college and then I was just, I, well, that was a thing. And sometimes this bites me in the butt because I'll speed read through something and I won't realize I've like read it or interpreted it incorrectly until later. Like one time, I always read my captions to make sure that they like say what they're supposed to say, but I speed read through them. And one time I was telling everybody I was going to Petco, but TikTok was like, oh, this is the word she means. And I did not go there. A couple years ago, I was doing a bunch of meal prep. I was making like 17 meals that day and I was just like flying in through it and I was doing all these new recipes because I wanted to be fun and creative and try new things, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, one of the recipes was having me make a marinade for some chicken. And it told me it wanted me to take four cups of olive oil, put it in this blender, and then add in all these seasonings and stuff. And then you turn the blender on and it would mix it. And during all of my frantic speed reading and meal prepping, for some reason, I, I missed the part where you were supposed to then like put all the chicken in a plastic bag and then put the marinade on top of that and seal it. And what I did is I then took all of the chicken and I put it in the blender and then I blended all the chicken and olive oil together. And while I was doing it, I definitely was like, I don't think this is right. But then I kept shouting to myself in my brain, trust the process. And so I just like blended this whole thing of olive oil and chicken. And then I put it in a plastic bag and then I put it in my freezer for later. And then a couple days later, I took my basically olive oil chicken soup brick out of the freezer and I put it on a frying pan to try to like fry it up and like it obviously went as great as anyone can imagine it would go and I eventually decided like you know what I'm just not gonna eat it which thank goodness I didn't eat it later I was complaining to one of my very good friends who's a very very good cook and I was like I wasted all this chicken and oil and she was like what recipe were you following no recipe would ever say that and I was like yes it does and she said no it would never say that and I like went to pull up the recipe and show her and be like ha, 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 ha. and then um we read the recipe and it, it said no such thing and then her and I just had this moment where we were like really quiet together and then I decided to try to turn it into a life lesson and I was like this is why you always double check the instructions and she was like everyone knows that it was just you being weird and I'm like Anywho, talk to you later. I love you. Bye.